made more than 3,000 trips out to states and local health departments to help with things like training and... YouTube, Michael Shepard Jordan here. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Today I am at Lone Elk Park, which is in Valley Park, Missouri, which is still in St. Louis County. It's like 10 minutes from where I live in Baldwin, Missouri, probably about 20, 30 minutes from the city of St. Louis. And it's great. So it's called Lone Elk Park because there's an elk herd here. There's also a bison herd here. So I'm hoping to see a lot of wildlife. And I'm here in the morning, it's like eight o'clock in the morning. And the park is just alive. You can hear the Canadian geese honking, birds, the squirrels, everything. Breakfast time. <laughs> but I'm hiking the White Bison Loop Trail. It's a three mile hike. It just kind of goes around the park, the lake in the center, but Excited to check it out. Hopefully we'll see some wildlife up close and personal. And yeah, let's go on a hike, y'all. So, why is it called Lone Elk Park? In 1948, they brought bison and elk to the park and introduced them here. But in the 50s, during the Korean War, the federal government took over, and in 1958, they basically killed all the animals, <laughs> except for one lone bull elk, and it was here um, by itself. It was the lone elk in the park, uh, and it wasn't until like 1971 or in the 70s sometime that the St. Louis Zoo donated like six bison uh, to the park and they started to reintroduce um, elk and bison to the park thanks to some elementary school kids from like the Rockwood School District which is what I learned so pretty cool and thank you elementary school kids because it's awesome So I'm kind of stuck right now. <laughs> There's two elk, well, three. And they look like three bulls. They've all got antlers and they're just kind of chilling on the side of the road. And I have to go that way. And I'm not sure how smart it is to walk up there. Probably not that smart. So I'm gonna hang out here for a little bit and, you know, let them eat. trail has been cut kind of short mainly because there were just elk hanging out uh, where I needed to go so walking back on the road I guess I should talk about how you can drive through this whole park and it's designed that way like once you enter you have to go through the whole park and there's a couple different sections the first section is the elk section and deer and there's I even saw a turkey that I couldn't get on camera but then you can drive through the bison section where you cannot get out of your car so I'm gonna go do that and see if I can get some cool shots of the bison which will be fun
So yeah, there you go. <laughs> as soon as I entered, they were all just hanging out right there. Um, <clears throat> now I don't know if that's a morning thing. I don't know if they just feed them right there. Like if the park does or not, but like I said, you are guaranteed to see some wildlife if you come to Lone Elk Park. And I would recommend coming in the morning. But in terms of hiking, you are always going to be competing with animals bigger than you. So I did not get to complete the White Bison Trail, which is okay. I mean, kind of a bummer. I did about a mile, I think, or more. I'll have to look at my all trails, but I also forgot to start it. So that's on me. But <clears throat> what a lovely, cool St. Louis Park. Uh, if you're close and you want to see some wildlife, Lone Elk Park is for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel. And yeah, follow me on all my Missouri hiking adventures. And leave me a comment below. Give me that thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. it helps people find my channel and watch it. And yeah, uh, I will see you all at the next hike. Bye.